Good morning ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, um, the day starts pretty interesting because the uh, road is blocked by a huge, huge, huge excavator here. And so, what you expect in this vlog, as the title says, I'm going to the Alberg and um, hopefully we get a ton of snow so that we can drift the hell out of the S3 then maybe we get the chance to drive or even see the new RSQ3. Uh, I'm super excited for that. Maybe even get a test drive with it. But basically, it is just a super cool video, I think, about getting into the quadrature season, about enjoying the snow and hopefully really drift the hell out of the S3, get to know what the S3 is like to drive on the snow. And so, yeah, I'm super, super, super excited. Car is already warmed up. I think they are making progress now. This is quite good. So we are ready to rumble and go to the snow. All right, um, then um, probably we are going to need, uh, let's say four hours <laughs> Shit. to get there. Yeah, guys, as you can see, still after five kilometers, we are, uh, we are already driving 50. So I'm not complaining at all. Car is filled up ready to rumble and i've got some breakfast so now let's go for our snow hunt so that's for sure a super good idea with just one hand so um yeah don't judge it ah, all right then bye carbon But uh, I'm super sure we will get there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you can see it. It is fantastic. We have an SQ5 behind us. So the Quattro gang is entering Quattro land. Oh, we have a tunnel here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so happy. So I would like to say Siri. Please play Winter Wonderland. <laughs> yes. Woo! <laughs> it is fantastic. And we do have plenty of grip. Of course, the conditions aren't that bad. But I'm, uh, I'm sure we will get more snow uh, under our tires. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I think it is time to put the EEC off because then we do have just a little bit more fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I love it. Let's try it. Yeah, okay. I think I have to get used to it because um, it isn't that easy. Okay, okay, okay. It is really tricky to get this thing properly uh, uh, sideways it has way too much grip way too much i think the tires are too uh, too sticky and uh, the next thing is that down there there is salt and that makes uh, gives you a lot of grip, which is good for uh, pretty much everyone because everyone is getting safe up there. But uh, it is not good when you want to drift. Okay, okay. <laughs> we are really getting there, but I, I have to get a feeling for a car. And to be honest, I have to say it is super, super, super safe. Uh, I'm really impressed by that. Can you see that? That was easy. And this is what Quattro is all about. Just, yeah, getting safe from A to B through the winter, no matter how much snow there is. Woo -hoo! Of course, it isn't that clever to do this on our open roads. I'm always looking that I'm 
Have you seen that? We have we had 93 on the clock, but we've maybe driven 50 or so. So now my plan is to go to St. Anton. Um, later on I drive to Lech uh, up there, but for now we go here um, to meet my mom and maybe also get a ride in the new RSQ3. Oh, just look at this. Now we are talking. So here we are then, <laughs> completely full with snow, the rings, the emblem, the lights over here. This is full quattro mode, isn't it? The wheels are performing super, super, super good, happy with them. Just look at it, is, isn't it absolutely gorgeous? This color in the snow, just look at where we are. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God, this, it, it is really a little beast, to be honest. And I have to get used to it, but oh my gosh, I love this car. Okay, so Quattro season is finally on. What on earth? We are in the all new Audi Q7, as you can see over here. And we are in full Quattro mode. <laughs> Fantastic! But first, a proper lunch here. <laughs> get some energy before. We are going back on our snow adventure. I find myself in the all new facelifted Q7 3 liter diesel and you guys know it, I love diesels. Um, just look at the road in front of us. This is Quattro Wonderland at its best. And yeah, what do we have here? We have the 286 horsepower diesel. We do have around about 650 newton meters of torque. And I have to say, this is probably the most safest car. I mean, just, I drive 80, 90 kilometers per hour on these kinds of roads, and it feels super, super safe. And this is what the Quattro is all about, and I think what the Q7 also is all about, because I drive this car all the time in comfort mode. And to be honest, I've never sat in a car so unbelievably good. The Q7 is just the best car for me, for my, tallness yeah because that's sometimes a little bit difficult to find a car where i really fit in it is really it is a pain in the ass to drive with the s3 more than one hour because my back hurts but in this car oh my god i i, I want to drive 1000 kilometers straight away and uh yeah all in all, we have the updated interior, like we have it in the A6, in the Q8, in the A7. Um, I really like that. And uh, so they're all updated new technology, updated headlights, backlights. Um, so all in all, I have to say the Q7 now has grown up because the generation, the pre-facelift, I wasn't that much of a fan of, the, of this because of the exterior design. But this now has grown up, as I said. It is ma mature. It is, it is exactly how I want the Q7 and also the SQ7 to be. And uh, this is the very exact point what I want to talk and tell you. Because on Monday, I'm going to collect the new SQ7 for more or less a week of driving so make sure to check that out to, to subscribe of course and uh, tell me in the comments what should I test with the SQ7 I'm super super interested in driving this uh, the, the SQ7 because we are planning with with Viamontes to get an SQ7 for a really special tour together with the A1 Quattro and therefore yeah, I can't wait to drive this car and I think it suits me, doesn't it? <laughs> I really, really like it. And yeah, now we drive down the Alberg Pass. Um, it says winter equipment uh, definitely needed. Um, we do have winter tires, we do have Quattro, we don't need snow chains because we have an all-wheel drive system. And this is the best thing ever here because yeah, you're just unbeatable.
right then, arrived at the parking garage with the S3. Oh my god, that was a ride, wasn't it? <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> I, I don't want to scratch this because it just looks so, so, so good without number plates, doesn't it? <laughs> and just look at the rear wheels. What happened over here? Oh my god. <laughs> That means I had a lot of fun, a really lot of fun. So I hope this isn't dry when I get down to the car in the morning. Just <laughs> look at this. Yeah, so it's now time to check in. I show you the room and then hopefully hop into the sauna and get a proper wellness treatment because I'm so done. I'm so, so, so done. Yeah, it was a nice day so far, wasn't it? Here we are then. Pretty big room to be honest. I'm I'm impressed. So here we have the bathroom. Quite nice. Really classy to be honest. Then we have a whole kitchen over here. Um yeah, living room, dinner room, and now the best thing. The best thing. Just look at this. Oh my god. What a view. This is fantastic. This is true Quattro Winter Wonderland. Oh yes. Imagine having here your morning coffee. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? What an incredible day this was. We had the first snow under the wheels of the S3. We had some proper fun, but I do have to say once again, this car is really a beast on snow. I didn't get the point where I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm driving it super, I'm drifting it super safe. Um, I, I was trying a lot, um, but um, yeah, it is, it is super hard. I don't know why exactly. Um, maybe some of you guys know it better than me. Um, with the other cars I had, with the SU5, also with the old RS6, it was super, super easy. But with this one, I don't know, maybe it's the tires or... or I mean, with the TTRS, for example, it was also super easy, so I don't know why. So let's wrap it up here. What an incredible day this was. Thank you very, very much, Moon and Flu, for having me here. What a wonderful place to be at more than 1,800 meters above sea level. What a cool view, and it is snowing the whole night, so I'm super excited for tomorrow morning and how much snow there is on the roads and then get the S3 out and then we see us together again in the next vlog. So make sure to subscribe, to give the video thumbs up and yeah, bye!